Jay, and it's been like forever since I sat down in my dorm room on my bed and talked to you guys. I have been uploading every week pretty on schedule. I'm proud of that. So for this week, I'm going to be doing the dare video that I promised to do but never did. So I went on Twitter and asked you guys to tweet me some dares. I wrote a few down and put them in the mason jar. I'm not going to do them all. So I'm just going to shake it up and pick out a dare and do it. Okay. Somebody tampered with my jar. That wasn't a dare. That was just some mean thing someone put in my jar. can't trust people around here. Okay. Eat a spoonful of mayonnaise. Ah! La mayonnaise. La spoon. Who can be mayonnaise? How big does it have to be? Like... No, bigger. Oh, it smells! I hate mayonnaise. Ah, it smells! Just think of it as vanilla pudding. Please. you see and propose. I want to tell you I love you. I want to know if you're going to marry me. Do you hear the people say? Dare, do a handstand on Sebastian's door and make sure to kick the door. Oh, this is the truth. Have you ever stole anything at a store? If so, what? I am stolen anything. But I accidentally stolen a scrunchie from a store when I was little because I wanted to try the scrunchie on. And when I walked out with it, my mom was so mad that she like dragged me to the store and forced me to apologize and put the scrunchie back, even though I didn't mean to steal it. But whatever, mom. Shake it. Dare, go outside and scream pink fluffy unicorns at the top of your lungs. Oh, awesome. Another truth. Okay, another truth. What's your most embarrassing story? Oh my god. So my most embarrassing story is probably when I was in eighth grade, seventh or eighth grade, I don't remember which one it is. It was either seventh or eighth grade. And I was in PE, a dude, I don't remember his name, um, decided to just come over to me and pants me. And then he also pulled up my shirt and my bra, which you know. In 7th or 8th grade, they were just starting to blossom. It was really embarrassing because everybody saw my little blossoming boobs. And at the time, like, everybody had boobs and I just had, like, little pepperonis. Okay, this is gonna be the last one. Call your mom and tell her you got pregnant. Great. Good morning, baby girl. Hey, mom. How are you, honey? Um, I'm good. What's going on? Um... I've been a little nervous to tell you. What? I like I haven't decided anything or done anything, but um, I t I took a test. What test? A pregnancy test. Jerry. Seriously? Yeah. And what happened? It came out positive. Okay, so no big deal, Jerry. Don't get crazy. I don't know what to do. Like, what are we doing with it? Well, you can't do anything. What do you want to do? It's your decision. I thought you were going to flip a switch on me. No, that would never happen, my daughter. Oh, I love... Okay, this is a video, so I was dared to do this. Don't worry, I'm not pregnant. Now that it's a joke, now let me tell you something, okay? So that's it? Yeah. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you like it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, blah 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 blah. Subscribe, and I will see you guys indefinitely. So um. You can't.
catch a lot of hearts, baby, got them lining up tonight. You got them all revolving right.